This is EX9920, the black body radiation experiment. You can see that the apparatus here is, for the most part, many of the parts from the educational spectrophotometer setup. We have a 60 centimeter optics bench, a set of collimating slits, a collimating lens, a focusing lens, the rotational platform, an armature and an aperture bracket that attaches to the armature, the rotary motion sensor, and to complete the black body radiation setup, you need a power amplifier 2 that connects to a 750, the black body light source, the a prism for the rotating platform, a little stop bracket, and the new broad spectrum light sensor. Okay, so first we'll attach the platform table to the optics bench. and just kind of roughly put it around there. Okay, this is a stop block for the arm, and you'll notice that one corner is notched off. So we're going to attach it to the bracket like this. This is the underneath side of the, of the arm. Okay, then we need to attach the arm to the rotating plate with these two screws here opposite each other. So now with that stop block in place, you'll see that when the arm swings around, it stops in this position here. And then now I'm going to attach the rotary motion sensor like that onto this spring-loaded bracket. So now the rotary motion sensor when attached to this bracket can swing like this and then I have a pinion that I will put on the shaft and the spring keeps the pinion up against the rotating plate. So here's our prism that attaches to the top of the rotating plate. We'll just screw this down like that. So you want to make sure that the prism is pointing away from the arm. And I've got a wing nut all attached to the bottom. When we set the, the light source up, the light will be coming in from this direction and it's aligned so that the light will enter the prism. Okay, so now we need to attach the new broad spectrum light sensor to the aperture bracket. And then using this post from underneath, secure the sensor to the armature. Now this new sensor is broad spectrum because it goes from the UV through the violet into the infrared. So it sees a very broad spectrum. Okay, and then a focusing lens right there. Collimating lens, collimating slits, and these will need to be around 10 centimeters apart. So we'll position them about like so. And then the black body light source, right about there. We'll plug some connector cables into the black body light source. And then the other end of those will go into the power amplifier. Light sensor into channel A, rotary motion sensor as usual, and then the power amplifier needs to go in channel C. The black body radiation file comes on a CD with the apparatus, and so in its directory we will open up the black body data studio configuration file. And the first thing we need to do is sort of see how our optics are aligned and see how things look. So what I'll do is I will turn on my signal generator here and turn the voltage up to 10 volts. That's lighting up the lamp inside the black body apparatus. It's a tungsten filament so we, we are sure to get a very broad spectrum light source. 
the collimating slit we want is the fourth one. And on the aperture bracket, we want dial setting number four as well. So with the collimating slits and lens 10 centimeters apart, uh, you'll want to swing the arm around until you find the region where the light is being bent to. And you can see that I'm getting a rainbow um, at the right angle there, but it's not really lined up with the, the aperture slit. So if I bring the bench out, I can kind of find a region where it will cover the slit. And when I find it, when I, when I get a good distance away from, from the lens, then I'll want to tighten the, the rotational table down. So I'm going to rotate the arm around until I'm at that stop position. And that's going to be the beginning point for all of the data runs. So I will hit the tear button on the broad spectrum light sensor and now I'm ready to collect data. So with any of these optics experiments it's always best to do them in a very dark room. So you run this experiment between 4 and 7 volts. Changing the voltage changes the temperature of the filament. And as that happens, the intensity peak will shift. And you can see that we have three different data runs here, which shows Planck's intensity law.